You are now entering the pop cult layer, an unknown zone with doors unlocked. We may stumble upon a cave of bats or a daily metropolitan, a fantastic, amazing, incredible dimensions, and wars beyond the stars. Follow me into the door of the comic cathedral where it's all about gossiping the love of comic books. We continue the story from last issue's heroic team up and the underground human trafficking conundrum. Location, the Seattle Docks, the underground men, which sounds like the name of a one-hit wonder pop boy band from the 90s, are cattling the homeless into large shipping crates for auction. The Wang and Jack. Arrows fly as Ollie and Canary are on the case like a couple of bloodhounds. As Green Arrow scopes from above, below goes Black Canary using her rocker boots and street fighting skills. The Calvary has arrived as Oliver Queen's little sister joins the street brawl. How cute. From dusk till dawn, Canary bouts out a wail of a scream and ends this battle. Victorious. Will the real Robin Hood please stand up? Green Arrow finally hustling with his fortune. Make it rain with dollar bills, Ollie. A tasteful morning spoon between the arrow and the bird. Oh joy, keeping it PG-13, wink wink. After an action-packed first few pages, we get a nice scene between Emmy, who's a big music fan of Black Canary. A nice catchy tune sung by Black Canary called Blackbird, which DC should really make at least an EP for. Come on, a Birds of Prey album? A nice San Diego Comic Con or iTunes exclusive? Who would you want to have collaborate on that album? Animal Man? Bruce Wayne? I'm betting it'd sound a lot better than the garbage on radio today. Seems even though there's chemistry between the sheets, Canary isn't so quick to call this a relationship. Major burn. I know that stings. Solo Mr. Queen arrives at his building for some investigating. Detective Queen talks to a fellow businessman, learning of some sketchy schemes with Queen Industries. Looks like Cyrus Broderick is involved with the underground men. Not obvious at all. Sigh. And my favorite panel, Oliver on his motorcycle. Whoops, a booby trap and Green Arrow is the bullseye. Cyrus is the head honcho with a room full of the underground men organization. As Emmy watches Oliver become a voodoo doll, she steps up as a little sister and grabs a bow. But flips the switch and puts an arrow in arrow. Literally, her name is Backstabber. I'm calling Emmy a Backstabber. Such a cliffhanger and twist. Will Green Arrow die in the first issue and give the book to Mother Shadow and Daughter Emmy? Would you read that? And will Black Canary continue a new song called I Put Green Arrow in the Friend Zone? Sup Flash? Pick up your copy of Green Arrow number one and stay tuned for the next episode of the Comic Cathedral here in the Pop Cult Lair.